Hey everyone, welcome to Weekend Project. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, we are working on a easy table runner, table topper, starting off with the basics of a log cabin and working it out from there. Okay, so here's just a couple samples of uh, what I've done so far. Some are a bit bigger than others. There's one there and you can see where I've locked it off and then that of course you can keep building it out and out however much you like it. Here's one for using various strips of different sizes and then just uh, it could be for the top of the baby dresser or just for something for them to, to play on or what have you. And then here of course is bigger. So the more pieces you add of course the longer and beautiful more beautiful it's going to be. So you know how how you want to go about this is completely up to you. You're just going to start off with a log cabin and then I'll show you how to lop it off and then you can make your sections from there. You just keep building and building and building. Okay. So let's pop those over here. Okay. So I have a five inch square by five inch square of fabric for my center. You can choose whatever color you like, maybe even something that was embroidered. That would be kind of nice too. And then I just take it and we're just building it out like a normal log cabin. We're going to put a piece along this side, which is going to be five inches. And then we're going to add a piece on this side and then a piece on this side and then a piece on this side. And then we're just going to start building it out. Okay. Question is, what color do you want to start with? Right. And of course your center could be whatever, whatever you like. I chose red just because I have it. <laughs> All right, so we have a little bit of white here. So let's go take our five inch cut that we need. Just making sure one, two, three, four, five. Yep, one's over. So that's gonna go on that side and we're just going to flip it and then. So we have our five inch square here and then we're going to add a white uh, strip to the top and then we're going to add another white strip to the side. So we want to work on two sides and then another color on the other two sides as we're working along, okay? So just take it and put it on the machine. Just using white regular cotton thread for this. And then of course you're going to want to press to the dark side, just doing some finger pressing there. And then you want to take and make sure you got your next piece of what size it's going to be. So we want seven inches. So here, count over seven. And then this piece goes on this side just like that as we're building a log cabin. And then our next piece would go this way, and then our next piece would go that way. And of course you can do this with any colors, whatever you like, uh, coordinating colors to someone's decor. Okay, and then we're just going to fold that. Press it just like that, and then we're going to grab another color to come up on this side here. So let's grab this dark green one here. So it also should be seven inches because it's just the same as the other one. And then the next one should be nine inches, but we'll, we'll wait to that till we get there because sometimes fabric is a little funny. Okay, so now we're going to add that piece on that side. And then the last piece of green will go here and then we'll just keep working our side parts. You can put it a couple of layers around your log cabin, two, three, I think I was doing three and that gave me a nice uh, wide enough uh, table runner or table topper. You don't want them too skinny and you don't want them too big. And then again we'll just kind of finger press it, squishing it out. And then this one, we can confirm by lining it up on the board and it's nine inches. Yes, it is. So we can lay that on the zero over nine inches, do a cut, and then that will go on this side right here. Okay. You can keep to one color on one side and one color on the other or alternating or mixing it up, however many colors you got to work with. Great scrap buster, jelly roll buster. Okay. 
So that's one round, one round uh, for a log cabin. And then we just keep working our pieces here. So I think I'm gonna choose to do a red piece over on this side. Let's choose this pretty with the gold. So again, this would be a nine inch piece. So we know that already, right? Confirming, yes, nine inch piece. And then this piece on this side should be 11. salvage off and then you're gonna have more scraps left over from this so um, and then we want to make sure we're going nine inches one two three four five six seven eight nine yes confirmed up there and then put that up on that side okay. and just keep going around and around and around like I said, however many layers you wanted to build up your log cabin. You were using uh, tinier strips of fabric because that's what you have. You only got maybe one and a half, and you can do many, many. It would look really neat having so many little layers. Okay, and then we'll just press that, and then we'll confirm that this piece right here needs to be 13. Or sorry, 11. Yes, not 13. Sorry. 11 it is. and that will go on this side and then of course you keep building and building and building to however size you want your main part to be and then I'll show you how to cut it so you get the table runner idea and you just work on the strips down each side to make it longer So there's there. Now we want to do one more. Okay, but let's press this before we get too crazy. Should be pressing around each row. All right. All right. Now I want to do a white up here. And of course we know this one's got to be an 11. So I need an 11 inch and a 13 inch approximately. And then I'll show you how to cut it after we get this row done. So this will just be a two, two row work. Okay, so that's 11, right? And then we'll need a 13. Okay, so let's get those two sewn down. So we know it goes right across here because we've got the color left from the first one and then we're crossing over. Okay, so this one goes there and then this one will go here. And it's really easy to, to get a nice, clean center cut as long as you're doing even rows around. So you've got two on one side and two on the other, or three or four or five or whatever. As long as it's even around your square, you're going to get a nice cut. Right, now we're just going to press that to this way because it's the darks. All right, now we're going to line up this one. Perfect. Make sure we are using the right side. There we go. <laughs> White on whites are always confusing. Okay, so once you're happy with this is how you want your center part to be, and then you want to build up the long edges on either side. I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So you're going to need uh, space on your board as well as your ruler. And then because I've got the greens, going this way and the red's going this way, though you could easily do it this way and, 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 and lop off the sides and do a whole different diagonal angle and whatever makes you happy. Okay, so we're gonna take the corners and we're gonna meet them at the top. Make a nice flat bottom here. Okay, and we're gonna line it up on one of our lines. That tip, that tip of that uh, triangle is right up on that line. We got the flat fold on a flat line 
You take your ruler and you lay it down. This one, since it's only got two rows around for the log cabin, we're going to lop it off at six inches from the center on either side. Okay. There. And then same for this side. And we're going to lop it off right there. So I like to move my ruler down just to make sure I don't want to cross over my arm. Okay. And then from those two pieces, goes in your scrappy pile becomes the start to your table runner. So you just keep building up pieces here and here. So if you go and you take a measurement of what this, this, this side to this side, this corner to here, is about nine inches. So if you cut a bunch of pieces, 10 inches and 10 inches to go on either side, you're gonna build out your table runner to be a nice big size, okay? Just like this here, okay, nice and long. If you go four, three around like I did on this one, uh, you're going to end up with about eight inches on either side of the, the line, your center line to cut, okay? So once you have that done and you just keep adding your pieces, okay, to either side, and then even though it looks like this, but that just helps give you the guideline of where to cut the next line for when you're chopping off all the extra little bits, okay? So again, lining it up on your board, make sure you got the point on the line and if you were nice even to cut you might be even back on some lines right here like I am on either side of my board and then you just line up with your big ruler lop off all the little corner triangles that you're going to get as you're making your table runner bigger or longer okay and then you just keep keep going and going and going okay isn't that easy and fun and you got lovely little gifts to give away or decorate your own house. Like I said, if you got a decor, certain color decor going on, you can make a lovely gift for somebody. You know, somebody who loves Halloween, make them a Halloween one or love Easter or summer or what have you. It's a great gift to give at any point in time of the year. But I really like doing it in Christmas colors. So thank you very much for joining us today. We greatly appreciate you. Hopefully this inspires you to just take on a basic block and turn it into a nice a big table runner or desk topper or underneath the TV or dresser or whatever with all your little bits of fabric. Be encouraged by what you have. Use what you got. Take care everybody. Merry Christmas to you and your family. If you can join us tomorrow Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, which is Christmas Eve here for December 24th, 2022, uh, we'll be hanging out here in the quilt shop for a little bit as well as New Year's Eve. Um, yeah, so hope to see you then. Okay, take care. Big hugs.